Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Four members of Warren City Council will not be allowed to run for re-election because they've exceeded their term limits. The Michigan Supreme Court made that ruling Tuesday, overturning a decision by the State Court of Appeals we first told you about last Thursday. That means Council President Cecil St. Pierre, Vice President Stephen Warner, and Secretary Robert Baccamino, and at-large Councilman Scott Stevens will not appear on the August primary election ballot. Vandals who damage parks are wanted in Lenawee County. Everything from bathrooms to bleachers were trashed at Wakefield and Stevenson Parks in Morency over the weekend. The worst damage is at Wakefield. It could have an impact on Little League games and the Morency Festival. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers of Lenawee County. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Mike. It's a close out to a beautiful day today. We're down to around 57. We'll stay partly cloudy and those winds will be fairly light. Once we get into Wednesday, we had a high of 76, a dry sunny start. But once we get to the late afternoon hours into the evening, that opportunity for rain only climbs. So even though you won't need it in the morning, make sure you take an umbrella with you to work. We're also going to have some rain and clouds on Thursday. It'll make it a tough go just to hit 70 degrees on Thursday and our next dry day will arrive on Friday. All right, thank you, Mike. And another road project in the works will affect getting around Metro Detroit. The Road Commission for Oakland County is reconstructing the busy intersection of Novi and 12 Mile Roads. The first phase begins Monday. Novi Road traffic will have to turn east or west on 12 Mile to get through the intersection, then use the 12 Mile crossovers to get back onto Novi Road. Second phase closures will be announced soon. The work will be complete in mid-August. Those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have those stories and more on our website, WXYZ.com, and of course on our app. We hope you have a good night.